Well, longtime residents call Linda Vista a diamond in the rough. It's largely known as the home of the University of San Diego. In our month long series of San Diego neighborhoods then and now, News 8's Heather Hope shows us that there is more to Linda Vista than just a pretty view. It holds a time capsule in American history. Linda Vista literally means pretty view in Spanish. It's also nicknamed the block. And just on the other side of this sign, it says it's the heart of San Diego. The people make our community great. I think the really cool thing about this neighborhood is it's a little bit of a diamond in the rough. The layout of Linda Vista largely looks how it did decades ago. The McDonald's on Linda Vista Road has the same sign News 8 shot in 1986. There used to be an arcade place to play here. Thrift Village is no longer here, and Del Taco was across the street. Del Taco is now Filiberto's Mexican food. Linda liquor manager Chris Garou remembers when old cashier Larry Chris worked here and was opposed to new development. I'm just going to take away from Linda Vista, I think. Of course, uh, real estate people don't, but I do. He just doesn't have the same mustache or hair because it fell out over time, but he still shows up. A lot of people still show up here. The store, owned by Guru's family since the early 1990s, offers more than liquor. It provides community. I mean, we know everybody in the area. We've been here forever. And we also have lucky lotto tickets. Since 1975, Skate World has been a rockin' and rollin' fixture of the neighborhood. And now, as the only indoor roller rink left in San Diego County, it too has a rich history. I think in the early 40s, it was dedicated by Eleanor Roosevelt. It was a military um, building, so that's why when you come up, you're like, there's no way a skating rink's here. But it's because of this rounded building, the beams actually go nine feet into the ground. Skate World came close to closing its doors for good in 2019, but neighbors rallied to save it. When we fought to save Skate World, there was a lot of rumors and speculation that a target was trying to move in here, and the local community did not like that. No big box stores in Linda Vista. The area is like a time capsule. It was once rural and later a refugee settlement following the Vietnam War. Many of the homes were built in 1941, part of a government project to house aircraft workers for World War II with the goal of building 3,000 houses in 200 days. And longtime Linda Vista residents say as so much has changed, so much has stayed the same. Just look at these apartment homes that News 8 featured back in 1986. This is the only place that's centrally located to everything. You've got all the freeways around here, you get an ocean breeze. I really love the neighborhood. I went to high school in the neighborhood. Linda Vista is part of San Diego City Council member Raul Campillo's district. Uh, it's really a neighborhood that brings together the Latino, Filipino, Vietnamese communities. Campillo says Linda Vista's multicultural fair stands out, but the area has been pushing for a Linda Vista community center for over 25 years and needs improvements to crumbling roads, the popular skate park, and the old library. So I think over the next decade, Linda Vista has a lot to look forward to in terms of housing, amenities, infrastructure. So between Skate World and the growing popularity of the skate park, Linda Vista is becoming known as a skate town, and the nearby recreation center often serves as a reunion meetup point for longtime Linda Vistans, and they hope that it will remain that way.